what is going on guys Exeek here and i am back again with a thousand subscribers thanks to you guys huge thanks for that i words cannot explain or describe how appreciative i am so thank you for that but i don't want to waste your time so we're just going to get straight into the subject of this video which you could probably tell by the title we are going to be making the audio on your gaming headset or headphones sound amazing for gaming music movies but mostly gaming especially the surround sound because a lot of people really play competitively nowadays they want to hear the footsteps they want to know where the footsteps are coming around from in apex call of duty warzone valorant um it doesn't matter it's it's all the same thing it's the same principle so let's get straight into this and i have a little secret at the end of the video to even make the audio way way better as far as the surround sound goes at least um so first things first you are going to go down to the link in the description for equalizer apo you are going to install that and basically what that is just like it says a system-wide equalizer for windows and basically it'll override everything so no matter what once this is installed and you got it working it will always apply to whatever your whatever sound is coming through your headset so you're going to install that i've already installed it a couple of times actually for this video um so boom boom install yes and you're going to scroll down select your headset boom close it's going to ask you to reboot so just do that and then come right back uh, to this video so i'm going to give you guys a second to do that pause the video and see you in a second okay so i'm assuming you've rebooted by now you don't even need to mess with this anymore the very next step is to go to the second link in the description which is peace equalizer and this is just an interface for equalizer apo you can't just use equalizer apo on its own you need to have an interface so download this so i guess i'm going to download it once again save you're going to open that up and it's going to show you that you have equalizer apo installed if you have installed it correctly just like we've shown and you're going to click make sure the newest version is clicked which should be the one on the left and then you're going to click install and then that's pretty much it you're going to hit close and now you should have your equalizer set up for the most part so let's open up piece right now and you're going to click full interface you could go with simple but we kind of want to see everything so click on full interface and boom you now have the equalizer set up as you can see it is equalizer apo configuration extension piece which is what we just downloaded so as you can see i already have some settings put in here and you could save different profiles here if i were you i would just click on 7.1 setup and that's pretty much all you have to do so you should have your headset right here since you selected it earlier when installing equalizer apo now the settings that you want to copy are actually these right here all these numbers will already be in place for you once you install it so you don't have to worry about that the main numbers that you want to worry about are the gain values the the decibel values for each of these these different numbers so as you can see for like 10 hertz i have plus 5 decibels and then all the way 20,000 hertz or 20 kilohertz we have plus 3 decibels so right now i want you to pause the video and i want you to copy each of these numbers so 5 on number 1 2 on number 2 0 on number 3 negative 2 on number 4 so on and so forth so pause the video copy these real quick and then unpause so i'm assuming you've unpaused by now because you've typed all of these in there's one last thing you could do in this program uh one of them is you can actually increase the like the total gain of the headset so let's say you think your headset's a little quiet well by moving this you can actually make your headset louder uh so it'll increase the max volume per level so i have mine at zero because it's fine um but whatever 
And another important thing to pay attention to is to test everything, you can play a song and this will light up red if you are clipping. You could click on prevent clipping while playing a song and whenever it clips, it'll lower the decibel rating a little bit. But that's not really important. Technically, you can leave everything how it is. But for footsteps, and this is free, you can click effects right here and come down here and you'll see surround effect. So you can turn this on and basically what it is, is it implements a virtual surround sound equalizer into your headset. So right here is basically all the makings of a virtual surround sound. You have your delays for the front rear subwoofer, the bass preserver, so it doesn't get drowned out. And then the front width, side width, rear width, that's what makes everything sound like it's coming from where it is. So. You can equip this and you really don't even need to change anything because the preset settings for the surround effect is pretty good on here. So turn it on, go play a game, whatever it is, listen to a song, see what you think of it. If you don't like it, you can always just turn off and then close and then boom, you're back to the original settings that we implemented. So we're now done with Equalizer APO. You can click done and everything will be the same you'll still be using your headphones but the sound will be different because of the equalizer the last thing that you can implement and this isn't free but has a very big impact is dolby access which can be installed through the microsoft store but the only catch is you are going to pay for it once you install it i want to say it's 13 dollars to actually unlock it and actually use the features to its full extent. So if you do want to do that, great. If not, this will basically be the end of the video for you. And I thank you for watching. Um, so let's open up Dolby Access here. So after you've paid for everything, you'll make sure your headphones are selected, which would just be clicking on this. Then you're going to go to settings. It should already be in game or music mode. You're going to want to click on custom one and to the best of your ability, you're going to copy where I have each of these little dots at. There's no exact rating of where you have everything, which is unfortunate, but just copy this to the best of your ability. And you could even play with it a little bit yourself. But the main thing that we care about is the surround virtualizer. You're going to want to turn that on. And after you've copied this or copied it on your own, made it how you want. You're going to click apply, then come down here to your audio icon, right click, and then make sure that Dolby Atmos spatial sound is selected. And honestly, that's pretty much it. That's that's everything that you can do to make any headset sound great. Doesn't matter what brand it's from. I'm using a Steel Series headset, but that doesn't matter. It could be anything. It could be a Bose wireless headset that you have connected through Bluetooth in your sound settings. Anything will sound better with these settings specifically for gaming, but also for music, movies and everything. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this video was informative. I hope I didn't drown it out too much. Um, I hope it's not repetitive based on my other videos, but I kind of just thought I want something that everyone could use because up until now, I've only made Dolby Access, um, Astro, Steel Series headset videos. So I wanted something that was for everyone, especially now that I have a thousand subscribers and I have people that are relying on me to make good content. So thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.